Cancer welcome to my channel Cancer Moon Oracles my name is Rosa and I am coming in with your second love reading so for those of you who didn't resonate with the first love reading uh, I am coming in with the second love reading I did promise you a second love reading because the first one was very specific uh, so here we are so if you are tuning in for the very first time welcome uh, we are going to take a look at your person's current feelings towards you and we are going to open up with an animal spirit card just to take a look at their current energy and what that looks like towards you then we're going to take a look at their current feelings towards you as always cancer this is a general love reading and if it resonates with you please hit that like button to let me know and if you would like to join the Cancer Moon community, be sure to subscribe. Don't forget to tap the notifications bell also upon subscription. That way you're always notified and reminded of every time I upload a new reading for your sign. If you would like to book a personal reading, uh, feel free to reach out. I am opening 10 spots up for the month. And once those 10 spots go, then that is that is it for the month. OK, if you want to if you want to understand more about that, then check out the descriptions box below. But I am offering 10 people the opportunity to work with me. So you will find all the details in the show more section below. All right, let's just dive on into it. Spirit angels and guides, please show us the the current energy of the person that Cancer is connecting to and dealing with in love. Please show me the energy of this person. Please show me the energy of this person. What is this person's energy towards Cancer? What is this person's energy towards Cancer? Okay, the sea serpent and the panther. Mm sea serpent and panther okay so the panther is fire energy so your person may be a fire sign aries leo sagittarius and the sea serpent this is this circle here just represents the ether or spirit okay just give me a moment to kind of just tune into this energy <clears throat> Okay, so Cancer, I'm, I'm feeling like this person is triggered. Hmm. I'm feeling like they have a wound. There's a wound here with this person. Uh, th this person showing me that they are upset. Uh, and they are trying to work on that. Okay, they're trying to work on that. Or they're trying to heal an emotional wound. Mm. I feel like they, it kind of feels like they're triggered or they're upset. I don't, it, it, it initially started like they were upset at you or you triggered them but they're showing me that they're taking self-responsibility or accountability for it so initially initially you took the blame for it or yeah, am I saying that right initially they blamed you for it but now this person is showing me that they are taking their power back or, or they're taking accountability for it because the panther in this deck is 
uh, is a representation of empowerment, you know, and the sea serpent is healing emotional wounds. So that's what this person's showing me. That's their current energy, Cancer. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So let's just, I'm going to, I'm going to just draw a couple of tarot cards to understand what's going on here. Hmm. Spirit, tell me more about this energy. Tell me more about this energy for Cancer. Page of Cups. Page of Cups. Page of Cups. Okay. So, Cancer. Um, Oh yeah, that, that, yeah, yeah, look at that, yeah, I thought so. This person is healing a childhood wound, okay? There's a wound here that stems way back from childhood. I feel like they were projecting something onto you. Hmm. They were projecting something onto you. Um, you you may have been mirroring something to this person. Your relationship, your dynamic was mirroring a wound. Or it was like a, a, a sore point for this person. Mm, but they're working through it, Cancer. This person is working through it. I, I feel that very, very strongly. This person right now is showing emotional empathy. They are showing like a tender heart. They, this person is showing me if they hurt you, it's because hurt people hurt people. Uh, but they are showing me like they are sorry this person is showing me that they're sorry if they hurt you or they're sorry if they upset you. They can see here that it, it stems from it stemmed from like something inside of them. Um, it stemmed from an unhealed place that they can recognize now, that they can identify now. And they're working through this. They're saying that they're sorry. Um, they're working through this. Mm. They're, they're saying they know it probably doesn't mean anything to you, uh, but for what it's worth, they are sorry okay cancer all right let's see let's see how they're feeling towards you let's see how this person's currently feeling towards you This person 
person um okay i have to i have to mention it cancer this is not going i know this is not going to be for all of you but this person may have cheated on you this i am seeing the three of swords here you may have been dealing with a player this person can see that they it's it's like they're saying to me it's like they're admitting that they are a player the reason why this person is admitting to me that they were a player is because they were this way so they didn't get hurt so if they did the hurting then it would save them from being hurt now it stems from like i said it stems from uh, something that happened to them in their upbringing um Now, I'm not excusing their behavior at all. This is what they're showing me. And for some of you, this might be very painful to hear. But this is what they're showing me this is why they cheat this is why they cheat okay this is why they cheat on the people that they love um yeah okay spirit angels and guides how does this person currently feel towards cancer how does this person currently feel towards cancer How does this person currently feel towards cancer? Four of Wands is here. How does this person currently feel towards cancer? How does this person currently feel towards cancer? How does this person currently feel towards cancer? The King of Wands is here. The Five of Swords. How does this person currently feel towards Cancer? The Two of Pentacles, the Knight of Swords. The Three of Wands. Okay, and at the bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Wands. The Three of Cups. The Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. Okay, so this person's currently working on themselves okay they're trying to improve themselves uh it seems like progress is being made here okay it seems like they are making progress in that department hmm all right let me just take a look i'm seeing regret here with the five of swords okay th this person is having a moment of regret okay it's like they feel ashamed um they they feel bad they feel guilty uh, for the way they've treated you, for the way they've behaved. Um, in it, for the way they've behaved towards you in the past. 
Mm. It's like they're looking back in the past and it, it's like I'm seeing if they had their time again, they would do things very, very differently. You know, they would do things very, very differently. That's what they're showing me here. Mm. Yeah. What else am I seeing here? I feel like this person's that I see that they want to take action towards you, uh, Cancer. Because the Knight of Swords is here. This person wants to come towards you. They want to talk to you, but they're not sure with the Two of Pentacles, okay? They're kind of just weighing it out. They're weighing it up. They're not sure if it would be a good suggestion or not. Hmm. Because uh, I'm seeing the Five of Swords and the Knight of Swords. I feel like these two cards are connected. Okay, this person has regrets, like I said, for the way they have treated you in the past. I feel like they want to redeem themselves, Cancer. Yeah, they, they want to redeem themselves here. And they're kind of just like weighing it up whether or not it would be a good idea to uh, approach you with maybe some kind of apology. I see here that they would like to redeem themselves, explain themselves, excuse themselves. But they're not sure how that will unfold. Okay, um, I'm, I'm feeling like if they were to catch up with you, the last thing that they would want is to fight with you. Um, because the five of wands is here. They don't want to fight with you. They don't want to cause any drama. Um, yeah but i do see with the three of cups here they would like to reunite with you that they, they would love to have a reunion here with you uh, but they they don't want to fight okay they don't want animosity here with you and they feel because they treated you poorly or because they treated you badly, they feel that that might happen. Mm. They feel with the Three of Wands that it might be best to hold off or best to wait. But I can see here that this person is seeking you out. Okay, they are they are thinking about you here. Cancer. Mm. I want to understand this King of Wands and this Four of Wands here. Um I, I just want to understand it because I'm not understanding that energy. Let 
let me have a look tell me more about the four of wands and the king of wands spirit tell me more about the four of wands and the king of wands why is the four of wands and the king of wands here in this person's feelings towards cancer Tell me more about this energy. Tell me more about this energy. Okay, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take this one, the King of Cups. The King of Cups. I'm still not understanding. I'll grab another one. The Queen of Cups. I feel like this person right now is having a different view on you and the connection. That's what it feels like because the King of Cups and the Queen of Cups is a true match and is a true pair. So it's like they're having a completely different view of your connection now. It's probably like a little too little too late, you know. Um, that's what it feels like to me. It's kind of like they're saying to themselves, um, you know, I could have had such a really good relationship if only I didn't treat cancer the way that I did. You know, Cancer and I would have made a great um, future together if only I didn't treat Cancer the way that I did. You know, um, yeah, because the Four of Wands is like it's a stable energy. And it's almost like they, they know now that they could have had it all with you. They could have had it all with you. Mm. Yeah, but they know, yeah, there's the Four of Cups, um, but they know it's too late, right? They, they just know it's too late. Six of Cups. They could have had it all. This person is feeling nostalgic cancer, okay? All right, so that's, yeah. Wow, I feel like this person's, it's almost like they're going through some kind of spiritual awakening. That's what it feels like. Okay, what is this person's intentions? Let's take a look at this person's intentions with Cancer. That's a different message, isn't it? Oh, what am I doing? Let's leave those there. Sorry, Cancer. Let's leave those there. Let's take a look at this person's intentions. Spirit angels and guides, what, what is this person's intentions when it comes to cancer? What is this person's intentions? What do they want with cancer? What, what do they want with cancer? What do they want with cancer this week? What are, what are their intentions with cancer this week? What do they want with cancer this week? What does this person want with cancer this week? The Seven of Swords. Okay, the Seven of Swords. This person doesn't want to run from the truth anymore. They've been wearing a mask and they don't want to, they don't want to wear this mask with you anymore. 
okay I feel like this person has been wearing a mask with you they don't want to they want to take off the mask okay that's what they want with you they, they want to take off the mask they want to be vulnerable with you They want to be real with you. They want to be honest with you. The world card is here. What does this person want with cancer? What do they want with Cancer? The Four of Cups. Hmm. Just kind of just reading the cards here. Hang on a second, Cancer. Why is the Four of Cups here? Why is the Four of Cups here? The Four of Cups clarified by the Four of Cups. How does that happen? This person knows that you won't give them a second chance. They know. Okay, you're closed off here. You're done. This person knows that you won't give them a second chance. Um, they just want an opportunity to... I feel like they want an opportunity to clear the air or to say sorry. Um, they don't want anything from you that they don't even want I, I don't feel like they want your forgiveness they just I feel like they're doing it for themselves here because it's like they owe it to you Mm. I hope I'm making sense, Cancer. Yeah. This person knows that they did the wrong thing by you. They know you're not going to give them an, another, another shot or another chance. But what they want with you, they, they want to be vulnerable with you. They want to be real with you. They want to be raw with you. Mm. It's like when I'm looking at this world card, it's like they have to go through the eye of the needle. 
It's like they have to experience going through the eye of the needle. It's like they can no longer avoid the truth or uh, like have this avoidance energy. They have to go through it. They have to face something here with you, you know. Um, and if it means that you reject them, then so be it. But there's something here that they need to experience with you that is going to put a situation to an end that because the world is it's like the closing of a chapter the closing of a book this is closure this person needs to experience some kind of closure they have to go through it this is something that they can no longer avoid That's what they want here with you, okay? Maybe they're looking for some closure here with you, Cancer. So what action will this person take towards Cancer? What action will this person take towards Cancer? Spirit, angels and guides, what action will this person take towards Cancer? Spirit, angels and guides, what action will this person take towards Cancer? What will this person's next actions be towards Cancer? King of Swords. King of Swords. Okay, well, I'm hearing with the King of Swords, face the truth. Okay, the action that this person's going to take is to face the truth. Okay, and the King of Swords is a bit like that, isn't he? He's... He's ready to face the truth. He's also ready to tell the truth. He's also willing to hear the truth. I feel like this person has been avoiding the truth. See? Eight of Swords. I feel like this person has been avoiding the truth, avoiding hearing something from you. I feel like they're ready to hear what it is that they have to hear from you, Cancer. I feel like if, the, if this person has been avoiding you for quite some time, it's because they've been avoiding hearing, they've been avoiding you because they don't want to hear something. Um, but it's like now they're ready to hear the truth. Okay, that's what I just keep hearing. Because this person here in this card is standing on a puddle. Okay, and I feel like it's got to do with their emotional side. Okay, it's because they are beginning to do the healing work. Because once we begin the healing work, we can, we're more accepting of the truth, aren't we? Mm. And I, I feel like this person is ready to hear the truth because I don't know, they've been stuck for a very long time, you know, this person's been stuck um, in a holding pattern for a very, very, very long time. And I can see here that they're ready to break free from a holding pattern. Seven of Cups. I'm pretty sure this came out in the other reading. It did. It did, Cancer. It did. And so I'm going to say the same thing. You know, if this person follows their heart with the Seven of Cups, they will do, they will know what to do. It's almost like... It's almost like with the Seven of Cups, this person is overcoming. No, it's not overcoming. It's more like mastering their ego. 
It's more like they're mastering their ego self and coming into their heart center, you know? So this person, we all have options, we all have choices. And I feel like when it comes to this person's actions, they are making a choice. They're breaking free here and they're looking at their options that are available to them. And I feel like this Seven of Cups is them kind of, you know, choosing to follow their heart. And I'm going to say what I said in the last reading. If they know what's good for them, they will follow their heart and they will do what's right. Uh, and if you look at this King of Swords, there's butterflies that are flying above him. So I feel like this person is ready to make some uh, pretty incredible changes. The Nine of Cups is at the bottom of the deck. I almost want to say with this card, Cancer... You just might get what you wish for. You just might get what you wish for. Okay. Hmm. All right. So let's see how you're going to respond to this. So in short, this person's going to approach you to get your opinion on something, okay? To get your opinion on of them because there's something here that they need to hear. There's something here that they need to hear. So they need to hear this so they can grow, okay? And they need to hear it because they're ready to hear it as well. Let's see how you're going to respond to this. Spirit, how is Cancer going to respond to this situation? <laughs> gonna laugh cancer the queen of swords well cancer's like i'm ready <laughs> well if they want to hear the truth i am all for it <laughs> queen of swords cancer is not going to hold back <laughs> uh, king of cups Oh, don't you just love it when that happens? Seven of Swords. Okay. All right. I just love when that happens. Okay. Yeah, look, I, I feel like you're going to give this person a, a, a mouthful of truth. A mouthful of truth. Mm. I feel you will listen to what they have to say because the Queen of Swords, she's a great listener. Um, and she's very observant. but you will lovingly give this person a mouthful of truth. Okay, and you're going to do it from a, you, you're going to do it from an emotionally mature place. 
you're not going to do it from a bitter place. You're not going to do it from a place of anger or resentment. I don't feel like that's going to, and, and if you're the cancer that feels that way, then this might not be your reading. Okay. You will touch on, um, with the seven of swords, you will touch on the subject of dishonesty, I feel. Uh, so there will be a discussion on why did you need to lie to me? Uh, you will touch on maybe manipulation or mask wearing. Uh, you will touch on um, truth or honesty. Um, there will be a conversation around if there's no honesty in a relationship, then there's no relationship or something of the like, okay? Because, yeah, you, you can't have a relationship if there's dishonesty. Or if there's no trust in a relationship, then there's no relationship, okay? So I feel like there will be a conversation that involves the converse, there will be a conversation on trust respect love but i feel like you will give this person um a loving mouthful cancer so that's where i'm going to leave the uh, the reading uh, let me know your thoughts and i will see you in my next video bye cancer